Hey guys, it's Katie and I'm at Core Athletic and today we're doing the wall ball. So if you've never done wall balls before, it's basically a squat with a ball to an overhead press, which is basically our thruster, right? Where we take the barbell below parallel, lock it up over top. This time we're gonna take the ball, same thing, stay the same. The most important thing is that front squat. He's gonna keep his elbows up, the ball is elevated in front of his chest, it's not pulling him forward, and the basic components of the squat are still there. Feet are about hip width apart or shoulder width apart, depending on your flexibility. His knees are still gonna drive outside of his toes, his hips are gonna sink down below parallel. So the full movement is squat below parallel, throw the ball up at a specified target, catch it on the way down. So he's gonna show us a segment of three, four wall balls to show us what it would look like in a continuous range of motion. So go ahead, Anthony. He's gonna catch it on his way down. His squat is staying perfect where his hips are going below his knee, his knees outside of his toe. His chest is staying up nice and tall. Again, most important thing is that you're not letting that fall forward. So common fall would be knees going in. So most people, like when they go to do a squat with any kind of weight or ball, they'll end up coming forward and have the ball come in front, their knees go in. This is gonna put pressure on the quads and the knees. So what Anthony's gonna show us here is where his elbows go. So whenever he's throwing a ball up at the wall, he wants to make sure that the first component that stays true is his front squat. So front squatting with the ball, go ahead and front squat. From here, his elbows stay up, chest up, hips below parallel, knees are out. From here, he's in the perfect position to throw that ball up overhead. As he catches it, he's not gonna fall forward and catch the ball forward. He's gonna catch it right at his chest line, keeping the elbows up as he goes back down. So that's how you can keep these repetitive motions. If you are not ready for the wall ball, just like everything, we put the ball down and you're just in for a regular squat, knees outside. This would be just as good or we can start holding the ball for a little bit of weight, but we're gonna progress into the wall ball. So we've got wall balls today. We'll see if you're ready for them. We'll see you at core later today.